Good morning everyone, my dear students. I hope all of you are well and safe in your home. Uh, I welcome all of you in my learning classes. Today I will take the class of science for class 8. Okay. Previous day we have learned the first chapter that is crop production and management. Some of the part. Today we will learn about the rest of the part of this chapter, okay? Previous day we learned the types of the crops, how the soil will be prepared for the cultivation. So this type of topics and today we will learn the different types of agricultural implement. All of you have seen that in the field, the farmers use different types of implements, mean tools or objects by the help of which the farmers can cultivate, cutting, different types of, or that helps in the cultivation of the crops, okay, the tools or object. So, you have seen that the in the field, the farmers use different types of the tools for their cultivation and uh, today we just learn about the, the different types of the tools how they use how this type of tools helps in the cultivation so you can say that what is agricultural implement obviously you say that you can say objects or tools that help in Cultivation or agriculture for better production, okay? So, there helps in this type of tools helps in the agriculture for the better production. So, that is called agricultural implements. What is the importance of this agricultural implements? Importance obviously helps to break down the soil. Soil to get better yield. This is the actually main function of the agricultural implements. Agricultural implements mean the tools or object that helps in the cultivation or agriculture that is used by the farmers. How does they use? We just learn in my next topic. Importance of this agricultural tool. The importance of this tool help to break down the soil to get better yield. Obviously, if you break down the soil, it will be break down into small particles. The gaseous exchange will be occurred. The manual mixing well with the soil, the microorganism can live inside the soil. So many benefits we can get from this type of, by the help of this type of tools, okay. So they use this type of tools to break the soil easily. Because soils are some type of hard and steep. It is not impossible that break down the soil by hand, but if you use some tools, it will be more easy to break the soil, okay. So agricultural implements. There are, you have seen there are mainly three types of agricultural implements are there, okay? That are very much used by the farmer. So three types of agricultural implements you have seen the main Main three types of agriculture include first one obviously plow. All of you have seen these tools. Next one hoe, and another one cultivator. So 
this is the main three types of tools that is used by the farmers to cultivate their field, to remove the weeds, to add the manure, to break the soil. These type of tools they use for their proper cultivation and obviously to get the high amount of the production. So first we read about the plow. What is plow? You have read already the tools that helps in plowing or tilling. What is plowing or tilling? That is loosening or turning of the soil. So plow, what is plow? Plow, you can say that it is a simple agricultural tool. It is a simple agricultural tool that helps that helps in plowing or tilling. Very easy, and you have uh, already uh, sir, learned about that what is plowing or tilling in my previous video. So importance of the plow or the functions of the plow. Importance, first one, obviously, in plowing or tilling. What is plowing or tilling? That is, you can also say that loosening or turning of soil. Next one, removing weeds. Another one, adding manure. And the last one, scrapping soil. So, actually this is the main functions of the plow. First one, plowing or tilling. That is the loosening or turning of the soil, the uh, upper layer of the soil or the inside the soil particles. There may be some hard particles also present. They are stiff, they are hard. So if plowing is done in, on that soil, it will be loosened and turning obviously. The, you know that the upper part of the soil is rich in humus and more uh, compared to the lower part. So if you turn the soil, it is mixing very well. Next one, removing weeds. Weeds means the unnecessary plants that grow up with the crop plants, okay? So, if the unnecessary plants grow with the crop plants, they will take the valuable nutrients, light, water, and they deprive of, deprive of that crop plants from these valuable nutrients. So, this is very harmful for the crop. You cannot get the better yield. So, for the reason, you have to remove the weeds or unnecessary plants that is harmful for our crop. Next one, adding manure. Obviously, it helps to make uh, mix with the soil with the fertilizers and manure very well. So, all the parts of the soil you will be rich with the nutrients and the plant gets their nutrients very well and they will take it very easily. Next one, scrapping soil. Scrapping means if there is hard particles, if there is the big particles of the soils are present, that will be made in the small particles. It is very easily to the root gate inside the soil. They can drown the water very easily. So, so many functions of the plow. That is first one, what is plow? It is simple agricultural tool that helps in plowing or tilling, okay? Importance of the plow, first one, plowing or tilling. That is loosening and turning of the soil that helps to gaseous exchange, that helps to go the root of the plants very deeply inside the soil, that helps to leave the microorganism inside the soil okay and it also mix the humus rich soil with the another parts of the soil very well next one removing weeds the unnecessary plants will be removed by this process another one adding manure or fertilizers if there is any sufficient of any type of potassium zinc minerals any type of nitrogens that will be 
you can add with the help of the fertilizers. So how could you add the fertilizers with the soil? By the help of plough that will be mix the soil with the fertilizers very well. And another one scrapping of the soil that is breakdown of the big particles of the soil into the small particles. Okay. So this is the main functions of the plough. Now you have you can see what is the main parts or different parts of the plough. Different parts of plough. Have you seen ever the how the plough is look like? Obviously, you have seen how the plough. You have seen in the field that is drawn by two bullocks or two animals. Okay. So plough mainly made by the wood. It is mainly made by wood. Wood and drawn by pair of a pair of animals. Okay, bullocks mainly pair of animals. Main parts. Plough has mainly three parts. Plough here. Plough shaft. Another one, beam. Plows here obviously iron made. Triangular string or sap. Triangular string. Plow sap, the long log of wood or iron, okay? Log of wood. It is obviously made also by the iron and beam. It is placed. It is placed on the neck of the animals. Neck of animals. Okay. So mainly three parts: plough here, plough sack, and beam. Plough here. If I draw the there is the pictures of the plow. This is the plow, the iron made triangular string that is plow sear. Okay, it's called plow sear. It is triangular and it is totally made by the iron, which helps to drag inside the soil. Okay, it mainly helps to loosen and turning of the soil. This is called plow. Plow sear. This long log of wood or it is also made by the iron also. It's called plough sat. And there is another wooden like structure will be act as this plough where the two animals will be here two animals will be attached. This part is called beam. Okay. It is another wooden log that is allowed. That is attached with the plow sack and two animals also attached which help them drawn this plow inside the soil. So
सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्लाव प्लाव से आर प्लाव से आर एंड बीन प्लाव से आर द आयरन विथ ट्राइंगुलर स्ट्रिंग प्लाव से आर दैट इज द लॉन्ग रॉड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज मेड बाय वुड और आयरन एंड एम आर द वन बीन दैट इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द नेक ऑफ द टू एनिमल्स टू बुलॉक्स ओके दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर and the total structure function and importance and what is the definition of the plow you have learned that already okay now we move to the next instrument that is next to a hoe what is a hoe hoe also a simple agricultural tool it is a simple agricultural tool okay and importance what is the functions of the fork it also just like a uh, walk as like as plow that is removing of weeds and another one turning of soil so hoe is another that is also made by the wood or iron it is also made by the wood or iron simple agricultural tool it is also made by wood or iron and what is the importance or function that is removing of weeds and turning of soil this is the structure actually the definition and functions of the hoe now we will see how the what is the structure of the hoe how it is look like so different parts of hoe is just looking like this type of structure this is the actual structure of so this part that is called grip that helps to grip with the hand that holding easily that is called handle it is long iron rod
it is called beam just like plow the two animals will be attached with that part and there is the another one strong bent iron blade okay so different parts of hoe that is grip handle long iron rod or strong bent iron blade and another one beam grip that is easily hold that helps to grip with your hand you can hold this easily handle obviously that also you can help hold by that part and this is the beam where the two animals will be attached and this is long iron rod it is also made by the wood and the blade that is strong iron blade that helps to remove the weeds that helps to loosen the soil break down the soil particles the different parts of the hoe grip handle beam long iron rod strong bent iron blade okay so the structure function and definition of the hoe next we will read about the cultivator the another most important cultivator that is now it is you can say tractor okay nowadays you have seen that actually the use of plow and hoe that since ancient time but nowadays in our modern technology tractor is more usable than the hoe and plow because they are need the so much human labor they are need too much time but the tractor can save the human labor also and it can also save the time it is more useful over the manual cultivator because they are manual cultivator because by the help of the human you can cultivate by or use these tools but it is totally machinery help by the machinery and machinery use is obviously useful more than that both the two previous tools so this is the most important and by the help of tractor you can plowing cutting scattering of seeds all these activities that is very much important for the cultivation you can do this okay so the tractor or cultivator you can say that it is the most important part of the cultivation because it is more useful than manual tools it is more useful than manual tool because it reduces human labor and it reduces human labor and save time okay that is the function of the cultivator it is more useful than the manual tools manual tools because they are used by the humans and because human labor is needed the previous both two tools but in this case tractor it is totally controlled under the machine so it is reduces the human labor and save the valuable time and you can produce more more crop than the use of this hoe or plow okay so this is the preparation of the soil and which type of tools helps in the preparation of soil we read about that we will move to the next activity after the preparation of the soil what is this that is sowing if you don't sow the seeds you cannot get the crop so sowing means that is putting or scattering you can say that scattering of seeds on the soil for 
कल्टीवेशन आफ्टर शॉइल प्रिपरेशन सो दिस इज द सोइंग व्हाट इज सोइंग पुटिंग आफ्टर शॉइल प्रिपरेशन यू हैव टू Take some seeds, na? How could you get or how could you develop crop? It is coming from the seeds. The plant layers obviously comes from the seeds. So putting or scattering of the seeds that may be human by the use of human by the use of the machines, you can scatter or put the seeds on the soil after the preparation of the soil. When your soil is prepared totally and that is ready for the cultivation, then you start to sow the plant layers or seeds. That is called sowing. So in these cases, the farmers obviously are have to choose the good quality seeds and healthy seeds. What is good quality and healthy seeds? Obviously, they get the better production, they produce the better production, and they give us the more than the average seeds. If the average seeds take the uh, the less amount of the crops, but the, in the case of the good amounts of seed, you can get the ten times better than that. Okay, so. How the farmers select the for the good seeds or bad seeds? How they know that what which seed is good and which seed is bad? You can prove that by one test. Okay, two test you can also take that. How could you prove that the quality of the seed seed good or bad? Okay, the farmers select the seed in this process. First one, they take one beaker. That is filled with half of the water. Now they put the one handful of the seed inside the water. Okay, one handful of seeds inside the water. After some times, they observe that some seeds float on the upper layer of the water, and some seed just settle down at the bottom of the beaker because the seeds which are bad, there is no content is there, so they are lighter in weight. The destroyed seeds are lighter in weight and they can float on the water. But the good seeds are heavy in weight. They have the materials, they have the object inside the seeds, so they are heavy in weight. They just settle down under the water. Then they just the, throw away these bad seeds and they collect the good seeds and cultivate it in this process. Another one you have already read in the class seven. That is the process we knowing. Okay. We knowing what is we knowing? If you there is the mixing of the good seeds and bad seeds, they give the air force. Okay, after the when you give the air to this type of seeds, the bad seeds they are light in weight, they will be flew away, and the good seeds will remain on the floor. Then you can collect the good seeds. Okay, so how could you choose the good seeds or bad seeds, and how the farmer choose the good seeds, good quality seeds in these two process? One is by the help of the beaker and water. So take one handful of the seeds, then put on inside the water. After some times, they observe that the bad seeds they are lighter in weight. They can float on the upper layer of the water, and the good seeds that settle down at the bottom of the beaker. Okay, this is number one process. And second one that is we knowing by the help of the air, the when there is give the force of the air, and after some times the lighter weighted seeds or the bad seeds will be flew away, and the good seeds will remain on the floor. Okay. So thank you for today. This is up to turning my next video. We'll continue the rest of the part. Stay safe and stay happy. Thank you very much.